Yes, here's your quick solution. I have your file in front of me and I am going to duplicate this layer. And I just want to tell you while I have you right here, um, it's probably, even, even though you got past the camera raw filter and the neural filter, um, the lighting effect takes a good video card. And I don't know what your video card is, but it, that could be the issue. I'm not saying it's not. And I only have 16 gigs on this computer, so I'm able to run the lighting effects. But here's a way around it, okay? So it's going to be kind of strange. I'm going to duplicate this layer, okay? So now I have two of them, okay? Now, on the bottom one, all right, let's... Um, I'm actually going to duplicate it again. And then I want to turn off the main one and then to this one that's marked here, if that says copy two, I'm going to say darker. Okay, now on the upper one, I'm going to double click it and where it says just copy, I'm going to put in lighter. Now, this is going to look strange until I get the layer mask on it. Okay, whoops, I didn't actually put anything in there. Here, sorry. Okay, lighter. I spell it right, yes. Okay, so I, I'm not going to see your file, but here's what to do. So on purpose, with this one, hit Control L or Command L for levels and darken it to where you like, don't worry about the face, darken it until you get the hair to be where you want, right about there. Okay, just darken it to where you get the hair the way you want. And now we can take the middle tone and even make it slightly darker, even more, right about there. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to turn it off. On the lighter one, let's make it even lighter. Okay. So let's go Control L again, and this time make it even lighter, but just a little bit. Now you can't. We can bring the white over just to the left and then bring the middle one over to the left too and then just increase the dark a little bit on that one right about I don't know why the dark is so hard to grab sometimes it drives me nuts Photoshop is not doing this right okay all right I had to double click it okay so now I've got good contrast in there okay so here's the difference here's the one um, underneath see how it's darker Here's the one on top. Do you see how it's lighter? But it's too light, actually. So what I want to do is put a layer mask on it and fill it with black, completely with black. Now that'll cover everything up on the layer because black eliminates. So I'm going to go um, Control Backspace and or just say OK here and say Control. Um, uh, I'm sorry, Alt Backspace. I'm not thinking. Now, do you see how um, I have completely covered up the whole thing? Now, what I want to do to make this accurate for you is to turn off the bottom one and leave the top one on. Now, I'm going to switch that in a second, but I'm going to hit the B key and I'm going to make the brush bigger. About that big, right there. And I'm only going to put the flow, Scott, on about eight make sure you right hand click and go all the way to soft right hand click and go all the way to zero soft okay we're ready now i want to paint white back on the black which will let the image show through now let me tell you show you what i'm talking about so i'm going to hit the x key now do you see how if i paint a lot of white on there do you see how well, let me go back and forth do you see how Oh, goodness gracious. All right. Do you see how if I paint a lot of white on there, um, I probably should have put it higher than um, eight, but I'm showing of now a little bit of the lighter image. Correct? Correct. And I'm showing her face in there. So I'm going to turn on the bottom one now. And there is your file. Now we have to put a little bit of a warmth on top of her, which is what the lighting effect did. So here's the difference. Do you remember how I darkened this one? Okay, I'm now going to turn on the lighter one, but I'm going to disable the layer mask. Just disable it for a minute. So now that's the lighter one. No big deal, right? Well, I filled it with black. All right, let me enable it now by right hand clicking on the layer mask. Um, 
let me enable it. I'm sorry, I just said that. Now, do you see how by painting white softly on the black, it shows the image? Well, that's what layer masks do, correct? So now in the bottom one, we have it. Look at how I've lightened up her face and it's beautiful. Now we just need a little bit of a warm shine. Okay, so I'm gonna put another layer on top and call it warm. And then I'm gonna take a soft yellow, like this, I'll, I'll sample the rock. I'm, I'm in the paintbrush, right? Yeah. I'm gonna hold Alt and I'm gonna sample that rock and I'm gonna make this even a little bit lighter. Now, I want to paint on top of her face, but I'm then going to take opacity away from it. So now do you see how I've added yellow on her face right there? Well, that looks pretty stupid, right? Well, not if I actually put this on an overlay mode right there or a multiply mode. Now, I don't mind the multiply mode. Look at how it shows everything through there, but now, all we have to do is remove a lot of the opacity and look, we have our warmth. Now I've taken it down to 16%. Let me zoom in and show you. Here is without the warmth, here's with the warmth. Now let me put it up just a little bit to show you the difference. I have it now at 25% and I'm not going any higher, okay? So this is, I'm sorry, this is without the warmth, this is with the warmth, it's perfect. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely perfect. So these three layers, the darker one with levels, the lighter one with levels, right? And then a black filled layer mask with white on it and a little warm layer on a multiply mode at 25%. So there it is. I think that that does a really good job in getting this file to where you kind of want it. All right, um, one more thing. I'm gonna, I'm sorry, but one more thing. Let me turn off this layer. Do you see how the hair is really dark? Well, if I kept on painting just a little bit on, I have to click to the layer mask. If I kept on painting just a little bit of white up in here, it'll let that hair show. Now, do you see how I'm letting the hair show a little bit more than it was? So let me take this off. Do you see how I'm letting the hair show a little bit more? And now that kind of really makes that a big difference, okay? And there is our painting, all right? So um, if I wanted to, I, I would like a little bit of the hair not to be so dark. So this is, nothing is ever perfect, Scott. So what I wanna do is um, take this layer away, take this layer away, and then show the bottom layer. Now. If I add a layer mask to this dark one, okay, to this dark one, I can actually now paint, hit the X key, paint black on this layer mask, which will cut a hole in the one I have selected right there, right? Letting the one underneath show through a little bit more. So now it's a combination. So I'm gonna click on the layer mask right there. See how I've clicked on that layer mask on the dark layer. Now I'm gonna paint and you can see how I've softened that hair. Let me zoom in. See how I'm getting that hair to come back in the softer venue on top? Okay, now here's the difference. Here's, here's what I, um, the, here's the one underneath, okay? And here's what I've done. I've actually cut that much of a hole so her hair shows up. Now her face gets brighter with the warm glow. So I'm sorry, but I actually used the layer that I made two duplicates of. Okay, so watch this a couple times and that's my workaround. Thank you.